My work takes me to different places. If you don't know, I'm a travel photographer who is mostly concentrating on creating hyperlapses. Sometimes I travel to a nearby city, sometimes it's a three-day trip to another country, and sometimes it's even a week-long trip. And regardless of where I'm going, my backpack is always filled with bulky, heavy camera gear, so I need to make sure that my travel essentials are lightweight, compact, and multi-use. Which brings me to my travel essentials. Every item in this bag has been handpicked and vigorously tested through many, many travel situations in the past three years. And I think it is a perfect base on which to build your travel kit. Just a quick side note, there are some extra 2020 travel additions due to the current circumstances. Let's just jump right in. First item on the list, Vaseline. It's great when it comes to protecting your lips. It is extremely helpful when it comes to protecting vulnerable skin, especially when you are in a harsh, windy conditions. And also it's great against chapped skin. Let's say you bought a pair of new jeans, you went on a trip, and maybe you walked a little bit too much and things started rubbing. This is when Vaseline will definitely help. But by no means, this is a miracle ointment. Do not worry about the size of this tab. I took it with me on Kilimanjaro summit as it was highly recommended to bring a lot of it and as you can see I'm still going through my supplies. A little pack like this will probably last you for about four to five months. Now throughout the years I have tried a bunch of different brands but I keep returning to this one. It's affordable, it's accessible and it does the job and I highly recommend it. Next item on the list, another moisturizing product and probably one of my favorite things ever, Aesop Hand Balm. During my travels, usually my skin gets really dry and that's when having a proper nourishing hand balm is very essential. A couple of key points here, it is super rich, it moisturizes and nourishes your skin super effectively and it absorbs really quickly, which is great. I almost always have my camera in my hands and I don't want it to slip. And if you don't have a camera, I bet you have one of these and I'm sure you want to keep it safe. I also sometimes use this hand balm as my face cream. I've been doing it for quite some time and ever, never, ever had any problems. I specifically want to recommend this Ace of Hand Balm as it's probably the best bang for your buck. Through the times I have tried some other products and I found them either too expensive or too oily or just too big in a volume and never kind of achieved the same effect. So this is a winner for me. Plus, it smells amazing. So nice. The rest of the items are pretty self-explanatory. Band-aids. They weigh nothing, they take no space, and the secret of them is that you never have them when you really need them. So there is really no reason why you shouldn't have them in your travel kit. I carry two types. Waterproof, more rigid ones for the places you want them to stick around, and smaller, normal ones for hands and whatnot. Next item are biodegradable antibacterial wipes. I started carrying them ages ago due to my love of spicy, sticky chicken wings. No judgment here. Honestly, I can't even list the amount of times I found them handy. But what I can say is that many situations have something to do with traveling, public bathrooms, and being clean. These are biodegradable wipes as hopefully we're not causing more damage by using something disposable. I can't quite find the brands that are like online so if you guys have some brands that you like and you've been using for quite some time please share them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to check them out just to highlight these are handy wipes which are perfectly fine for your skin however if you are looking for antiseptic wipes for the surfaces you will need to buy them separately <laughs> antibacterial hand gel. It was always in my travel kit as I found this product really handy. However, now it's a must-have item for your daily travels. The only thing you guys need to know is for the hand gel to work properly, it needs to have at least 60% of alcohol content. So just make sure that you check the label before you buy one. They do dry up your skin quite a bit, or at least that's the case with me. So that's when Ace of Hand Cream comes in handy. 
The newest addition to my travel kits are face masks. At the time of recording of this video, face masks are absolutely essential in all public transport in London. And when I was buying masks, I wanted to make sure that they are machine washable, that they have a fold for a filter, and also that they stay securely on my face, that I don't keep kind of touching my face throughout the day and adjusting them. I have purchased three of them as I travel together with Jay. So we have one of each, and then I have a spare one in my travel kit just in case. I want to give a separate mention to Masahiko. He created these masks. Not only they're well made and beautifully designed, they also have this nose bridge wire that just makes them really comfortable. I'm really happy with the price and the fact that I could also help a small business during these times. And if you would like to check out his shop, there is a link in the description box down below. Last but not least, reusable water bottle. Here is my take on it guys. There is only so much water you can carry with you, so I don't by getting two liter water bottle as it's too big and too bulky. So I use Chili's brand, it's a half a liter bottle and it keeps my cold drinks cold and my hot drinks hot. So it almost acts as a thermos as well, which makes it a perfect all around water bottle for any season. Just a super quick mention, power banks. Our devices need to be juiced up and we need to carry something for them. I own two power banks. This is a 20,000 milliamp hour power bank, heavy duty, super reliable, big boy. This is the one that I took with me to Kilimanjaro Summit. And for the seven days, this was the only source of power and it's done a fantastic job. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank, which is more than enough juice for your daily travel needs. It makes its own way to my backpack way more often as it's slicker, lighter and has a quick charge. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I think this is a good base to start building out your travel kit. Obviously, it will depend on where you're going and how long for. You might need to add some extra items slash medicines. You can never experience everything yourself. So I would like to hear about your travel experiences and what do you put in your travel kit as a result of it. You can always find me on Instagram at Classic Polly. And if you would like to share your travel photography or photography in general with me, please use hashtag Classic Nation as I would like to get to know you guys a little bit better. That's me done. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.